Congratulations to HBCU class of 2020. Michelle and I are so proud of you. Graduating from college is a big achievement under any circumstances. And so many of you overcame a lot to get here. You navigated challenging classes and challenges outside the classroom. Many of you had to stretch to afford tuition. And some of you are the first in your families to reach this milestone. So even if half this semester was spent at Zoom University, you've earned this moment. You should be very proud. Everybody who supported you along the way is proud of you. Parents, grandparents, professors, mentors, aunties, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, second cousins, cousins who you aren't even sure are cousins. Show them some gratitude today. Now look, I know this isn't the commencement any of you really imagined, because while our HBCUs are mostly known for an education rooted in academic rigor, community, higher purpose, they also know how to turn up. Nobody shines quite like a senior on the yard in springtime. Springfest at schools like Howard and Morehouse, that's the time when you get to strut your stuff a little bit. And I know that in normal times, rivals like Grambling and Southern, Jackson State and Tennessee State might raise some eyebrows at sharing a graduation ceremony. Whether you realize it or not, you've got more roadmaps, more role models, more resources than the civil rights generation did. You've got more tools, technology, and talents than my generation did. No generation has been better positioned to be warriors for justice and remake the world. Now, I'm not going to tell you what to do with all that power that's in your hands. Many of you are already using it so well to create change. But let me offer three pieces of advice as you continue on your journey. First, make sure you ground yourself in actual communities, with real people, working whenever you can at the grassroots level. The fight for equality and justice begins with awareness, empathy, passion, even righteous anger. But don't just activate yourself online. Change requires strategy, action, organizing, marching, and voting in the real world like never before. No one's better positioned than this class of graduates to take that activism to the next level. And from tackling health disparities to fighting for criminal justice and voting rights, so many of you are already doing this. Keep on going. Second, you can't do it alone. Meaningful change requires allies in common cause. As African Americans, we are particularly attuned to injustice, inequality, and struggle, but that also should make us more alive to the experiences of others who've been left out and discriminated against. So rather than just say, what's in it for me, or what's in it for my community, and to heck with everyone else, stand up for and join up with everyone who's struggling, whether it's immigrants, refugees, the rural poor, the LGBT community, low-income workers of every background, women who so often are subject to their own discrimination and burdens and not getting equal pay for equal work. Look out for folks whether they are white or black or Asian or Latino or Native American. As Fannie Lou Hamer once said, nobody's free until everybody's free. And on the big unfinished goals in this country, like economic, and environmental justice and health care for everybody, broad majorities agree on the ends. That's why folks with power will keep trying to divide you over the means. That's how nothing changes. You get a system that looks out for the rich and the powerful and nobody else. So expand your moral imaginations. Build bridges. Grow your allies in the process of bringing about a better world. No, I know I need it. And finally, as HBCU graduates, you have to remember that you are inheritors of one of America's proudest traditions, which means you're all role models now, whether you like it or not. Your participation in this democracy, your courage to stand up for what's right, your willingness to forge coalitions, these actions will speak volumes. And 
If you're inactive, that will also speak volumes. Not just to the young folks coming up behind you, but to your parents, your peers, and the rest of the country. They need to see your leadership. You're the folks we've been waiting for to come along. That's the power you hold. The power to shine brightly for justice and for equality and for joy. You've earned your degree. It's now up to you to use it. So many of us believe in you. I am so proud of you. And as you set out to change the world, we'll be the wind at your back. So congratulations, class of 2020. God bless all of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. God bless you all. Bye-bye.